my neighbors, good citizens all. I thank you for coming and heeding the call. Let's rally the people and bring them all near. Sing out our songs for the whole world to hear. This is the cradle of all that we are. This is the heart of the storm. This is the ground where the future was born. Of this here is Anvil and this is our home. Each song that we sing and each story we tell. Each hero we name and each life that we sell. Each breath and each beat of your heart is a beat of the drum. Give me drink in my cup and friends who will share it. Song on my lips and ears that will hear it. Fire in my eyes to light all the good people I see. I tell you, my friends, there's nowhere that I'd rather be. Before ten in the morning, we're barely alive. We're like ghosts, we're like spirits, and then coffee arrives. Then heroes awaken and stand by your side. Now gather your courage and sing out your pride. But the storm will not break us, although it may try. The sun may be down and may bake the world dry. But we stand by our neighbors and raise them up tall. Gather your voices and scream out the call. For you are my empire and you are my hall. For you I would fight and for you I would fall. For you are the beat of my heart and the heart of my song. Give me drink in my cup and friends who will share it. Song on my lips and ears that will hear it. Fire in my eyes to light all the good people I see. And tell you, my friends, there's nowhere that I'd rather be. So fill up your tankards and fill up your lungs. Leave no words unspoken and no song unsung. Make noise for your heroes, your kith and your kin. Sing out their names and the pride that they bring. Together we stand and divided we fall. And the future we write will be shaped by us all. For we are the singers and we are the song. For the story that's greater than more. Sing along. Uh, I'm only joking. Uh, hi everyone, <laughs> how are we all doing? Uh, hope you're all good. Uh, it's been a long week, it's been a very, very long week. Hi right, Ben, John, Chris, M, hello you, you naughty person. Um, Smithy, Cat, Jim, everybody, hello, how are we all doing? I hope we're all good. I hope everybody's... Not burnt out after after it's what's been a really shitty week. <sighs> Hasn't it just? Yes, it really, really has. Ah, oh, Badger's here, good. Um, need to chuck you a message, see if you fancy a beer at some point soon. Because I've had a bag ready under my desk. It's got a big bag <laughs> and it's full of, full of stuff. So I have to go and meet up for a beer at some point. Um... Uh, I don't know where to start. I've got loads to talk about. Well, I say loads to talk about. What I... Th I had... Yeah. I, I've heard people have had you at less. You know, just just throw that one out there. Um, I don't know where to start. We've done... We've, we've had a... We've had a week. The, we're, the world's going through shit again. Um, we've had... Hi, Baz. How you doing, buddy? Chat, chat, chat. Um, everyone seems to be ill. Um... Or throwing themselves onto the, on on their heads, it's been a weird week. Um, so a, a friend, um, um, my closest friend, he his everyone in his family is vomiting on each other at the moment, um, and so he's really under the cosh. He's really, so he's tired. Um, my daughter yesterday threw herself into A and E, quite literally through gym. She um, landed on the top of her head, 
and so she was on like a spinal board and had a neck brace thingy on and all of that sort of stuff um so you know she scared the shit out of everybody um she's fine she's knackered i've never seen her sleep so much um so yeah i'm i'm just tired but she's fine so thank you for all the positive messages and positive vibes yesterday um in six weeks we would have been an hour into time in hour into the empire we would have been an hour into the game um was she testing whether gravity is still a thing um i think she was testing whether or not i cared <laughs> which i obviously did uh yeah she was i don't know what she was doing she she was doing a um she was vaulting over the horse and she was trying to do more and more and just went too far clipped her foot and then so when she tried to vault through she clipped her foot and then just went up like that and then just went smack down uh everything so uh hope you're all safe and well glad to hear yeah she's fine she's fine next she's all good Mental made my PD account in 2016. I think when I was 16. I'm 20 in a few months and haven't been to an Empire event yet. Okay, right. That's no worries, mate. They, they, these are all be here. 41 days. Uh, I'm going off to buy a load of homebrew stuff next week. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be interesting. Going to make some cider. And they say exercise is good for you. I know, right? Does this look like someone who exercises at all ever um yeah kids really are more durable uh so I, I i knew that with um with my cancer that i'd have good times i'd have bad times um so this week's been i've been slowly on a downer i've been i've had a fever for a few days this week um i'm i'm, I'm picking up though again now i've got a little bit more energy so but i've had a pretty shocking week um, but yeah, I get to see, uh, you beautiful people when I, when I come and do stuff like this and, and this always picks me up, uh, homebrew, that sounds dangerous. It really does. So Justin, who does the two feet, uh, cider isn't making it anymore. He wants to take a step away from it and just relax at his games now, uh, for a while. So me and Kit are going to be picking up the slack on that. Um, and we're going to try to do as much as we can so we can get some two feet cider out into the field. And then you lot can come and buy it for in character monies. Um, if I haven't drunk it all. But yeah, I'm going to make some cider. I'm going to flavour it and all of that sort of stuff. Uh, where else are I? So, yes, Pouch for the Pouch Goddess. This has changed, as it will do. Um, oh, the, yeah, the, the candles. Yeah, this is all, all animated. If I uh, go the other way, out, oh, fuck. I can't get out of the way. There you go. Out that door as well, uh, it snows as well when it's stuff. Uh, yeah, so I like this background. Oh, and you've got the fire above Bob over there. That's all going, so... So yeah, wine is the easiest, but um, I like cider. So a little bit more difficult um, and all of that. So getting fancy now, I've had this background for ages. So um, Abby, uh, when Abby made this and did all my birthday stuff, not last year, but the year before, Jesus, that long, um, she um, basically did all the wood. So like, this bit is from what she's done. And she made and it was it's amazing so it's like this hefty yeti thing is just incredible that she made and uh, so i just i just thought oh i like this and then she had suggested she had said that she was she was looking at something like this um but basically it was just like she didn't have time and that was fine but she did an amazing such a good job i wanted to have this sort of background and yeah no, i love it so um i forgot what i was talking about yeah so homebrew is coming along uh long week everything's been wank for everybody but we're getting there we're getting there um so we've had some stuff turn up uh i'm collecting i've got some so for the the person in question who we have all helped um i have his bag at my feet 
we have some other bits and bobs. Um, so when me and Badger uh, meet up for a beer, hopefully the person in question uh, will come along and collect um, a load of stuff so it's not at my feet anymore. And then they will be able to try bits, try shit on. Um, so yeah, we're doing well there. Um, and he'll have more stuff to collect at E2 as well. I believe he's he's someone has donated a uh, some braces to him and a helmet. Someone has donated a helmet to him to this. Oh, I'll give him that way, but to, yeah, to this guy. It's nuts. You're all crazy people. That's why I love you. Uh, so uh, yeah, so yeah, pouch. So you'll notice that this has now gone up. So this is now 100 squids. This is that. Well, we're doing amazingly well. Uh, so we've gone from 15 because other so people had donated directly to uh, my PayPal. Um, to the person who chucked me a... Mr. Liam. Good to see you, buddy. How have you been? Hitting Mount? Liam is an incredibly talented photographer. Um, if you haven't followed him on Instagram, it's well worth a follow. He's just started chucking up his LARP bits um that he's got so yeah he's he's doing really really well um but good to see you man i haven't seen you in ages i am doing okay i am doing okay um glad to see you back thanks thanks for subbing so yeah 61 subs for this channel it's crazy absolutely crazy um oh yeah just distracted myself as normal uh, but yeah, so someone um, who watches the channel, they, they like to lurk, that's, which is completely fine. Um, so PayPal link goes against Twitch. I cannot put my direct... Um, uh, the, I can't put a direct link to PayPal in there. Um, so... Um, I can't officially answer that one. Um <laughs> But there is a donate button down below which goes through Twitch, which will appear. Yeah. Oh my god, I've flipped everything and now I can't. I'm like I'm dancing. So, um, yeah. So it's all there. So I want to thank that person for getting in touch and basically going, Did you know about this? I was like, Nope, didn't have a clue. So thanks. <laughs> so to that guy, thank you very much for reaching out. Um, what else? Uh, Liam T Media, yes. Um, I received a package today. Okay, Jim, have a good one, mate. And um, yeah, it'll all be up on YouTube on Sunday. And that, do Twitch take a cut? They take less of a cut than they do for bits. It's like three, well, it depends how much really. It's like 7p, something like that, about about. It's a really tiny amount, but that's the reason why I can't just say here's my direct thing. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of stuff uh, like that. Um, where else? Yes, yeah, so I've received a package today. Um, I have been told I'm not allowed to open it until I'm on stream. Uh, is the apothecary stream still going ahead? Uh, yeah, that's going on uh, ahead on Monday the apothecary stuff so we're going to talk potions poisoning healing and in character drugs and all of that sort of stuff empty goose wonderful another one that's amazing thank you so much for subbing i can i'd never get sick of that portsmouth fc gif i really really don't um oh right, also just to show you how much of a child i actually am um, I don't know how many people in chat follow, um, have watched Auntie Donna at all on, watched it on Netflix and YouTube and things. Um, I've had a gif of theirs and I've decided that my involvement with dealing with people who, who put up all the propaganda stuff for Russia, um, uh, I'm sending them an Auntie Donna gif on all their comments because it just makes me laugh a lot. I would put it up as one of my gift things, but it's quite rude. First stream in a while, I've been able to catch so keen for you. Aren't we all? We, yeah, we really are. Um, but yes, I'm going to be uh, apothecary thing on Monday. 
I'm hoping to have Mr. Smith on on Tuesday uh, to chat. But as some of you may know, if you're a fan of Hat Films um, or going to see Mr. Sam and the Dead Nuts music stuff, Smith has COVID and it's hitting pretty hard at the moment. He is not doing very well with it. So um, he is taking a lot of time off. Um, I might have to message Trot and that and see if I could stand in for Mr. Smith. I could just be angry and come up with and pretend I know stuff. I could do that. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I've received this today. Um, I've crossed out, let's see, I scribbled out my address, so that's fine. I didn't scribble out the other address, though, sorry. Um, uh, I was told not to open it until on stream, uh, and I've been told not to open it with scissors. So the Simerson quote from last I've watched nine episodes of Sharp. They're all on YouTube. Oh. Oh. See, I've got the big box set of Sharp, all the Sharp episodes on DVD. So, um, yeah, fingers crossed for a speedy recovery. Oh, Nexus, you were going to Brizzle, weren't you? You were going to go and see it all in Brizzle, Brizzleton place. Um, oh, man, that's, oh, I'm sorry. That really sucks. All right, let's, I've made a mess of this. Let's open up a box from the side, shall we? Okay. Nothing else in there. It's a good likeness. Yeah, cancelled night before. But oh yeah, definitely the right call. Open this first as soon as oh I didn't see this. But I only got it this morning, so. So that's fine. Pro Steve unboxing. Yeah, I need to do more of these, I think. Perhaps what we should do... Oh, I've got more ideas. Fuck sake, Steve. You absolute bellend. Um, what we could do is... We could get... If we could do a... Find a company that do... You know, like the Epic Armoury stuff. Thing. We could do something like that. And we could do it like a auction thing for... So we can do stuff as a community. So uh, I will have my hand on the top thing. I won't look into it. I'll just grab something, and then people in people can bid on whatever it is. I do. I, I need a notebook for the focus. I need to have someone like just sat here, going and just like throwing stuff at me. So, this is a very obvious attempt to try to make me cry. <laughs> and I appreciate it massively. Um, okay, Liam. What is happening with Darkblade? I keep seeing uh, talks about some items, but not sure uh, what they are or for what in general. So what we're doing, so this pouch for the pouch goddess, um, we are looking at raising money so we can buy a shitload of pouches from Darkblade. So Tim's well aware of what we're doing. And um, I believe he's going to... I think he's going to work something out for us. So we might get a little bit of a discount. Um, I'm going to collect pouches from him at the event. And we're going to give them all away to newbies at the new player meet. Just to say, welcome to Empire. We're an amazing LARP community. Here, have this. Enjoy your game. Enjoy your game and stuff. So... Um, pretty sure Helen would, yeah, of course she would. She'd easily throw something. <clears throat> Dear Steve, I know you've been feeling rough lately, so I decided to send you something to cheer you up. See, this is a, it is an actual thing. I'm not making this up. Uh, inside the bag is a present for you, but please open it on your next stream. I'd like to see your face when you open it. If you let, uh, if you let us know which stream it will, um, it will be, then we can make sure we log on. I hope it makes you feel better. Sending lots of hugs your way. It's not working. That's so sweet. It doesn't feel like booze. 
<laughs> it doesn't feel like alcohol. I've, I've been told I'm not allowed to open it with scissors. So, I'll put the scissors away. Keep it together, Steve. Shut up, Ben. So, I'm trying to be careful. Is it a Christmas hat? To give you a little bit of a preview. Let's put this on Instagram now, on stream, shall we? Oh my god, look at the... How adorable. I used to have an English teacher with eyebrows like that. That is... Oh, man. That is so amazing. <laughs> That's so amazing. Um... Wow. Uh, post. Oh, no. Don't want to. Let's. Uh... There we go. Ah, oh, fuck it. No, let's just get Bob in there. It's just Bob. Bob. <laughs> oh my god. That's amazing. It's Bob. There we go. That's on Instagram now as well. You can sit there. They can sit there. That's awesome. Well, that's the stream, folks. We've done, we lost Steve for it. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> he does, yeah. I, you can see that. Yeah, he's got little tusks. His uh, little bits here. Oh, Bob can sit there. Oh man, that's amazing. Oh, that's so cool. I absolutely love him. Uh, love them, I should say. That's so. So very, very cool. <laughs> Adorable. Right, where where was I? Where were we? Um, I've forgotten. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. What are we doing? LARP. That's the thing, isn't it? Bob can sit there. <laughs> Bob is so cool. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that's that's everything done. We're good. Uh, thank you for watching, everybody. Good night. <laughs> oh, oh, I love his little feet. Oh, he's got toes. Sorry, I'm getting so easily distracted. But that's amazing. That is the most incredible thing I've ever seen. Um, I will bring bring them up every now and again just to. Oh, it's got little ears too. Sorry, just so distracted. Um. Um, hefty awards, yeah. Um, so safe. Um, and me, we came up with an idea. Idea. They're not so much an award ceremony. It's a a way of recognizing people who are positive, uh, outgoing, and like give stuff back to the community, who are nice. 
Yeah, we should just call him the Bob Awards. Um, <laughs> Bob's so cool. Uh, yeah, so they can... So it's basically just a nice way of saying to people... Um, Smith, Smithy, don't tempt me. Do not tempt me. Uh, yeah, so people who have given um, stuff back are really helpful and nice, positive... And things like that, good for communities and stuff like that. Not just this community, but you know, like in general, um, and do a lot of stuff. So, example, um, last weekend when we were all in a call, we all just like I said to I said to everybody, right, I want you to pick someone in the community who is um, positive and uplifting and does really really good things. So you, everyone you, you unanimously decided. Uh, so I've gone out and bought that person something. Um, I'm really crap at sending people things. So um, it's just sat here. Uh, but I will send it. Um, if Helen is about... if I don't know if Helen's watching. Actually, no. Uh, no. Um, uh, she's having some self-care this evening. So, um, yeah, Helen will have to beat me up to get me to do that sort of thing and I did see um I think I've I think I've received a, another donation um yes an emoji of knitted bob knitted bob knitted bob is awesome can sit here um Yeah, so I, I need to get that sent off with a little note just to say thank you for what this person's done. Um, and that that's what we want to do. It's going to be towards the end of the year and we'll get this big thing going and I will stream it out and just to say thank you. Um, because that's at the end of the day, let's face it, that's what we want to do. We want to help people. We want to do everything we can to encourage people, to pick people up. Um and everything so it's it's a wonderful uh wonderful thing um oh. broken cords thank you so much for gifting um that to uh, camcord that's awesome thank you so much a round of applause that's fantastic really generous um yeah so that's that's one thing that we're, we're looking at doing as well so uh other things that i want to do is like obviously with all of this so feel free ask any questions because we got obviously we have a lot of new people still as well so any there's no specific topic for this channel for this stream there's nothing really there it's we can go positivity we can do what we talk about whatever you want um if you've got questions about first event sharing some love in honor of our new knitted friend yeah bob Bob is awesome. <laughs> oh, Bob. Absolutely love it. Uh, so, yeah. So, anything at all, we're all here. We can all help each other out. So, if you've got any concerns, questions, or anything about E1, the first event, just ask. Ask away. Or if you don't want to ask in chat, feel free to PM one of my... Explain the magic system of Empire, Steve. No. No. You're not my real dad. Um, so yeah, film, so anything else? <laughs> um, sorry, not sorry. Yeah. So what else have we got? We've got, um, yeah, so I, I, I need to, I need to have a look. Uh, I have just received a donation. Um, because I'm still going to ask him money, but as I'm trying to be a potion maker, how do I get fizz reps? Do I make them or buy them or both? You can do fizz reps with... Um, anything. So the potion pack, because I know you've got the potion makers big set, um, haven't you, Liam? So you you've got loads of little plastic bottles already. So I mean, what you can do is what people used to do right at the beginning with fizz reps for potions was, um, uh, they used to put, people used to put like alcohol in them so it would be vodka whiskey rum stuff like that and um 
it used to be uh oh oh that's wonderful so we that that's this total is now at 150 pounds so that's amazing thank you thank you so much so if it's five uh, maths we're at 30 pouches roughly 30 pouches at the moment which is awesome going like for a wee while but i hope you'll have a wonderful stream awesome thank you nexus uh yeah so you've got so basically people used to put those sorts of liquids in these things and then it became a bit of a people didn't want alcohol that strong at looking for at like 11 o'clock in the morning in the middle of a battle it wasn't good when it was really when it was snowing that one time uh at 11 o'clock in the morning and you're fighting and you get knocked down and then um one of my favorite healers in the game comes over and says you like whiskey and then just gives you this little bottle and you just drink from the whiskey it's just like jesus uh so yeah so that's the sort of stuff but people i know people put orange juice apple juice that or they make like black currant stuff like that cordials and things um or people just leave the bottles empty or some people just put water in it it's completely up to you um it's all dependent on how far into it you want to go at the end of the day so um some people go whole hog some people won't really um my wi-fi is terrible keep having to refresh it's alright, mate. The VOD's there. Um, rip. <laughs> um, I want want to hear more about this homebrew. So, we, me and Kit are going to be making some homebrew cider uh, to replace the two feet. So, it's going to be two feet cider still, but it's going to be spelt wrong. Well, my stuff will be spelt wrong. Uh, we're going to do it in the same way as Justin to try to recreate some of his cider because it was really good um and then we'll yeah we'll be selling it off in the field um as well uh what are the rules uh for selling homebrew um you buy it you know, you bring it in you cannot sell it for real money you have to sell it for in-game currency if you sell it for real money uh where well, you're breaking the law because you we because there's no license involved so that's the basics of it with what you want to um with what you want to get out of it money wise depends how much you've got so the two feet cider which is the best cider in the field i will add there are other pretenders called the sea wolves pond water if you ask me it's really good um yeah, Cali and Sam stuff's really, really good. Um, so a, a wine bottle full of this cider, they would would sell it for two crowns a bottle, or a crown a bottle if we liked you. Uh, some people would then take it and sell it on for four crowns. Sometimes it would go for a throne. Depends on drunk people were really. Um, so yeah, so there's there's a lot of stuff like that. Um, there it is an easy way of making money, especially as it gets onto Saturday evening, because people have run out of booze. So they will be left. They'll be going around going, "Has anyone got any alcohol beer to sell? Any anything got any, any anything like that to sell?" And you can sell it for a lot, but I don't like to do that. It's there. We know we're selling it for a crown or two crowns. And we do it. I also use the cider as a way of saying hi to people. So when I walk up to groups, it'll be, Hi, I'm Mac. Can I sit down at your fire? And they go, Yeah. And I'll go, I've got a bottle of cider. It's yours now. Have that and enjoy it. And I like to do that too. So there's loads of things you can do, but it's completely up to you what you want to do. Um, I've got cherry mead. If you're selling it in a smaller bottle then you could probably sell one of those for a couple of grams if it's very, very potent or a crown. But the good thing to do is haggle. Give that role, get that role play going. Um, with the potion fizz reps, uh, do the liquids need to look like what it says on the wiki? I haven't, uh, some people do do it. 
Uh, I haven't seen a lot of people who do. Uh, essentially, you need to be showing that you are drinking from the bottle. So if your if your bottle is empty, but as long as you are doing showing that you're getting the bottle out, you're drinking from it, you're putting it back, that's what you need to be showing off essentially. Um, uh, so yeah, it's completely up to you what you do and and don't show off. Uh, I do plan on selling cookies uh, from Costco. Is there anything I should know other than have an ingredients list, allergy warning, and gloves? That's it. To be honest, that perfect nail on the head. Give give that boy a gold star. Um, yeah, that that's all you need to. That's all you'll need. So when people ask about the cookies and they so if they have nut allergies, gluten, all of that stuff, then yeah, you can tell them and stuff. It's a large wine bottle, but it's about seventeen percent. Uh, similar to the side, similar to the two feet cider then. Um, Justin used to leave it fermenting for a while. So it varied from, we didn't know if to call it a cider anymore or to call it wine. So uh, sell milk with them. Oh, what are the potions? Uh, so for reasons I need some cheering up, Keen has taken a massive hit. Uh, what's some stuff to look forward to at E1? So John has just reminded me of something. So uh, first of all, John, I'm sorry I didn't reply. As you have probably guessed from what I talked about earlier, um, I've not been around. I've not been like with it to reply to any anyone's messages, really. Um, so someone who we, uh, we know um, is a close friend of of, uh, of John's of Krishna, um, basically has torn their lung at the moment um, and is suffering quite a lot. They, it, it seems to have hit um, John and their group of friends quite hard. So we need a little bit of, need a little bit of cheering up, a little bit of um, love to um, John's friend at the moment. Uh, John asked if there was a way I could, if there's anything I could think of doing um, to cheer this cheer this guy up. But um, at the moment, my mind is a complete and utter blank. Um, I think the only thing that we could do, uh, let me have a think, okay? And then we can come back to it, all right, John? And then we can have a look and see what we can, see what there is that we can do, okay? Because at the end of the day, we, we wanna help people out. All right, um, but yeah, just keep me posted on his health and let me know. Um, so Keen's taken a massive hit. What's some stuff to look forward to at E One? Meeting Bob on Thursday. I'm not going to bring Bob into the field. First of all, Bob is way too famous for this. He, they are beyond us. Gonna have to go, but I'll definitely be catching the vod. Enjoy the rest of the stream. You too, Smithy. You have a good evening, my friends, and you take care of yourself. Um, so yeah, Bob is just way too famous for the field, and we'll, I don't know, but on Thursdays, we're going to have the big meetup. Um, it looks like, ooh, blurry, Steve. Um, Bob would have all the paparazzi. Um, uh have all the paparazzi around around them so bob won't be my teddy bear no bob is going to uh stay next to my well bob will go up with the party potatoes up there and uh, other things i've had from streaming bits and bobs that people some people have sent so like lily's picture of me and eeyore and an axe i love my axe um, so, yeah, so Thursday will be big meetup and all that. All of Hearst Hall are going to be there. There's going to be this other hall, uh, that is going to be next to us as well, <coughs> uh, which has people from Hefty Fam in it. Um, so yeah, there's going to be a lot of stuff like that going on, which is really, really cool. Um, Dave's Commission Smut. I want to say I'm disappointed in you, Dave, but I'm not. 
That's interesting. Um, uh, watching me help the Empire, whether it wants it or not. Yes, you can commission smart. It's worth doing in the field. Go and find the people who make it, essentially. And they will they will do it for you. Um, it's very, very good. Um, I've got a, one piece of... Well, it's not even smart. It's the, I've got a picture of um, Mac and Grimm lying in a field together. Um, so, we do need more IC smart. You can be very specific in what you want to. <sighs> See, if I had smart, it would be... I'd have to have my smart be treasonous. Um, guessing you don't get in kit on Thursdays. People do. Some people do. I mean, Thursday evening, I will probably be in normal clothes, but I'll have my cloak on because uh, it keeps you warm. So there's lots of stuff like that. Uh, no, we're not naked. We are clothed. But it's... Um, yeah. It's it's just good. Yeah, bye bye Beth's money. Pretty much, by the sounds of that. Um, we do need more. If she doesn't bet it all away. Jesus. Uh, so I started writing an in-character letter um, today. Um, I broke out the crayons. Have a good evening. Well, have a good night at work, Dave. Um, don't work too hard. I'll catch you later, mate. Um, this is why Inga has to sell so many cakes. She won't sell me cakes. Uh, especially when she sees the letter I've written. I'm writing at the moment. Um, so, yeah. So, that's going to be really funny. Um, how do people fizz rep mana crystals? Uh, with a card that says mana crystals on it. That's literally it. Some people will have crystals that they can show. So, when they're doing... Um, little bits and bobs so for a ritual or stuff like that they'll have a crystal um, but when they're trading that it's just the card and that's so I uh, can't wait to see how angry Mac makes me um, just trying to think I've had an entire group come and threaten me before that was hilarious uh, I make people quite angry in games sometimes I see. All of it is I see. Um, uh, Rob your E1, but when we make it. Yeah, M is um, a knitting goddess. She really is. So, let me. I've got. I've got some of her bits. Oh, it's covered in fluff. I really should dust my desk a bit more. So, Rose, so this is, ignore the green screen, this is knitted by M as well. Um, ah. The party potato, knitted by M as well. So, yeah. As a discussion I had with people who can make amazing kit, um, we've decided that the most positive and nicest thing we can say about people who are really good at doing stuff is they are get in the bin talented. As a, <laughs> you know, as a really, <laughs> yeah, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, Hannah's been making a cro cro crocheting, crocheting, croquetting, an amazing shawl. Get in the, yeah, you're getting the bin talented. 40 roses in stock. Crocheting. Cro crotcheting. She's crotcheting. I thought that was a game. Croquet. It's a good game. If you got the balls for it. Hobbit jokes. But yeah, M is, M is really, really talented. And when she hits the field, she's going to... Uh, Make an absolute fortune with all these roses in Dawn. Which it really, really is. I've brushed my beard. So, um, yeah, so if people in Dawn want flowers, then yeah, yeah, M's there. 
Start offering her in character money now. Uh, I love my Dumplo custom, uh, custom alchemist bag, but the strap on the shoulder cuts into my neck, so I'm hopefully going to be putting fur on the top uh, so it's soft uh, on my. Yeah, just get um, get get some faux fur and just make a just wrap it around, and then that will be sit quite nicely for you. So um, yeah, that's like yeah, all the fur you need, all the fur. Uh, I need to ask Helen to. Um, I'm meant to be making my new cloak. But I have no talent when it comes to it. I'm just getting the bin when it comes to making stuff. I'm just getting the bin. I'm not getting the bin talented. I'm just getting the bin. Um, so uh, I do need a cloak, but don't currently have have the money for a nice one. Well, <coughs> um, my old one might be available. Um, um, or I might have uh, promised it to someone else. I don't know. My mind's awful. Uh, staplers for the wins. No, I can't do it. Not with a nice new cloak. We've got some um, uh, properly sourced rabbit uh, rabbit skins. Um, we've got some nice wool material and all of that. We've got some really nice bits. So I, I'm not going to be going anywhere near it with a stapler, I'm afraid. But it's just going to be a nice, a nice thing to have. It will just keep me nice and warm. Uh, I think she'll spend it all on tea and cake. Well, M needs to discover Lumi's, I'm afraid, Ben. You will both discover Lumi's. Red Mist. Good evening, my friend. How are you doing? There was talk of beer earlier. So there will be a meeting had with beer. Um, yeah. Ah! I've got to move it. I'm just, it's just in the, I'm just in the way, aren't I? Uh, it doesn't matter if it covers my face, let's face it. Another one. Thank you for subbing, my friend. That's awesome. We're up to like 63. Humble brag time. Um, there are people who I watch who I really enjoy. And rum. <laughs> and rum. They're all the rum. Um, there are people who I watch on Twitch. I don't like to watch really big streamers or anything because I find them boring and fake. Um, I like to watch... Uh, the smaller streamers and things like that and um, so like like I like to raid Ethan for example because that guy is so uh, humble and nice and decent um, when he recovers my friend will be bringing some two year aged elderflower cordial oh, that's awesome that's really cool yes yeah Helen loved that stuff Oh, I know who you're talking about now. So you told me I know you said his you said his name, and I was just like I can't think of who it is. But now I'm yeah I know who it is now. Send him my best, um, and tell him to uh, stop faking it because we've all we've all done our f's for him, and all right, just like you know, grow up a bit. That's a joke, by the way. Really fell flat, but you know I tried. Um, yeah, so I like to watch all of these people and it's really, I think I don't, I don't, I don't know, um, I don't, I don't know how it's really difficult because we're in a really weird like bubble with LARP and a community and stuff like that, because obviously with prime subs and all of this, we get, so I'm like, oh, 64 subs at the moment. And when I watch other people, other people do it, and they say, "Oh, I've got subs and stuff like that," and they say, "I've got like three or four, and they get more viewers, and I just, I don't know. It, it seems really, it's, it's a weird, the whole sub thing and money from Twitch. It's just really bizarre to me. It really is bizarre. But I love to, I like to, I like to, if people, uh, also if people want me to raid, uh, people that they know, uh, friends and stuff like that. Um, uh, yeah, just let me know as well. Uh, and then we can, we can do some bits. We can go uh, from there cause, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll try to do that as well. But yeah, the smaller, the better I find help smaller communities, small streamers and that, because let's face it, the big boys, the big streamers, they don't need it. Um, I'm going to forget to get my Moorish ticket. I just know it. 
they still didn't get back to me. It was a bit... It doesn't matter. But it would have been good, to, I think, to give like hot drinks as well out to new players. Uh, I really like them. Uh, seeing their praises, they do some... Uh... Oh, I've missed something, have I? What have I missed? Uh, speaking to Cat about getting a meal ticket for the duration of E1 from Moorish. What's the opinions on Moorish? I do want to try a few different vendors. Any recommendations? Uh, Moorish are great. They're standard pub food, but with but better than a bit better than pub food. Their um, haggis is amazing. I will always go there for their haggis. It's just oh, so good. Um, Wooden Spoon is my personal favourite because they do the trenches. So I recommend Saturday morning Wooden Spoon for breakfast if you're, well I say Saturday morning, uh, after your battle, go there, get your trencher with your full English in it. So all your bacon, sausages, eggs, hash browns, beans, scrambled eggs, all of that sort of stuff. And then eat the bowl. Um, you won't eat it all. You just won't. It's it's so filling, and that keeps you going for the day. Then Moorish, you go for your breakfast. So you go for a fry up, like first thing, get a coffee, and then you get um, your haggis. But there are other places there as well. There's a pizza place, a vegan pizza place. Um, I know that some people go oh vegan. Um, I am the biggest carnivore on the planet. I will eat meat with a side of meat. Um, their vegan um, uh, cheese and tomato that they do is insanely good. <laughs> it's really good. Um, so yeah, I really recommend them. There's, there's good stuff. There's a lot of good food there, but it's all down to your own personal preferences. There's a coffee place there as well. Uh, so yeah, it's really, really good. I want a trencher. I, I have attempted to make trenchers at home. Um, I don't I don't do them justice. Uh, other options all depends on who turns up. Catering does shift around. It really really does. Um, uh, you can get oh yeah, Morris. You can hire for private events. So yeah, so when we do the hefty winter ball, which will be a player event, it's going to be in character. It's going to be a player event. But we'll look at limiting it to uh, Hefty Fam. Uh, give people a nice way of... It's a nice way to end off a year, I think. You know? Um, so, yeah. Wooden Spoon is my go-to. Love the drenchers. Um, is there authentic food on LARP weekends? There will be. Uh, pulled pork drencher is awesome. There are groups who are going to be there so um jasmine is doing in character cooking um because jasmine uh and pete they do a lot of uh reenactment so they they have got a lot of the authentic stuff um and that as well so there are a lot of groups who do those sorts of things and they sit around and they and they cook all proper they, they do it all properly there so um I think Jasmine's actually going to do some classes on it one day and have people around and go, this is how you cook all of this stuff. So probably be a lot of stew, a lot of stews. Speak of the devil. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah, I've, I've seen some of the stuff that she, uh, that Jazz has been putting up. It looks so good. It just, it just looks amazing. So if you're not if you're not distracted by um, uh, his holiness the beard, um, Pete, then yeah, it'd be worth going. But there are some places that do. Um, I'd recommend a stew. I think Aldi are are putting out a fire pit with the uh, tripod over it again uh, soon. So Pete's doing Moroccan stuff. That sounds good. That sounds really, really good. But, yeah, there, there will be a few places there. But it's worth checking who the caterers are going to be um, just before um, uh, the event. And then you, you can go from there. 
I'll be doing Ukrainian medieval. Oh, but not selling it. Oh, oh. <sighs> not disappointed. I'm just hungry. <sighs> oh. oh, you're not allowed to. S hmm. Can you do a prosperity thing for food? Just to say, yeah, if you liked it, I'll accept donations. Can you do that? I don't know. I'll have to ask PD. Um, but yeah, they. So there, there are a lot of stuff that goes on around there. It's like, um, I believe there's a blacksmith or in the field as well. Um, they uh, will actually sit there and do. They'll have their full thing going on and stuff. Um, is there any way someone can come to me want to spectate in any way? Unfortunately, not. They used to do something like uh, you could do a day ticket, so you could turn up in the morning, come along in kit, and just have a look around, um, and just to see and just to get the a feel for it, and then leave a little bit later. Um, so, to be honest, uh, Red, it'll be worth uh, probably chuck PD an email. And see what they can do. Um, that will probably be the best thing to to do there. Um, they used to do it at the old site. You people, you'd see people walking around, and that. But they have to be in kit, so you can't walk around in jeans and t-shirt and stuff. So, um, I look forward to leaving LARP no longer fitting into my kit. Well, yeah, uh, I always lose weight at an event. Um, I've lost kilograms at events uh, before, especially when it's really hot. You don't, if you're not eating properly, you're not drinking properly. Um, yeah, you lose a lot of weight because you've not looked after yourself. You've sweated into anything, everything, and yeah, it's like my um, um, my tunics. Uh, I did a battle. It was like 34 degrees. It was in really hot. Um, so I had my plate on. I had my plate mail on. I had everything on. I'm sprinting around like a lunatic. Um, drinking up as much water as I can get my grubby mitts on. Um, and then um, I came out of the battle and I got back to the tent. I wasn't feeling very well. Um... And uh, so I take I take the armor off, and as I'm take I'm taking the plate off, um, yeah. Trigger content warning: this is gross. Um, and as I take it off, and I take and so I'd slide out of it, and I'd hold it off, it would start dripping. Because I've sweated so much that all the that all of the stuff would just drip on the inside, and then I could take my tunic off, which has now changed color, and I could wring it out. I, you sweat that much if if you are running around constantly and it's really hot. That's how much liquid you can lose. It's yeah. So hydration is the key. Really is the key. Um. No, yeah. Yeah, it's great for a fat bloke like me. Losing that much water weight is wonderful. <laughs> so, um. It's awesome. Uh, my thermos and sealskin seal socks just arrived. Yay. And with that, I'm never buying a potion from my... You wouldn't anyway. <laughs> yeah, who knows what bit has gone into my potions. Well, there's a bit of grass. A bit of beard hair. Just don't ask where the water came from. Um, <laughs> but yeah, thermals, sealskin socks. It's a great purchase. That really is a great purchase. Right there. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm very tempted to get some locally made ice cream to sell at Empire. Wondering how well that would go down. Tempted to make a questionnaire to see which of the flavours people would want to have. If it's a hot event and you are selling cold stuff, it will just go. Because Smith and Trot did it. They had. Uh, they went and bought... Do, do people remember the mini milk ice creams? You can you used to be able to buy them for like 5p. They were like that bit. And it was just a generic vanilla ice cream. 
they had those. So Smith had a little freezer. And um, so he had a little freezer that he kept uh, inside the tent. And basically what he did was he came out with them all, shouted ice cream, and then everyone just went running. And they were all gone. He ate a lot of them himself, I will add. So uh, it's just, as Chris has said, storage is the problem there. Uh, if you've got a portable battery pack and um, you've got a little freezer, then yeah, you'll be fine. But it's just powering it. It was, yeah, it's difficult to do. Um, salted caramel, chocolate, wild strawberry, rum and raisin, many, many more. So yeah, that would be, that would be really cool. But the storage will be the problem, unfortunately. Uh, so, oh yeah, there was something else I wanted to mention, but I completely forgot about. So I talked about site clearance. Um, so Kit went to, uh, Kit went to site to have a look around. He is the Navarre, one of the Navarre camp planners and, um, he had a little look around to see what he could see. And basically there's been a bit of storm damage to the Navarre woods. Um, but there's not the grass has grown everywhere. It's it looks amazing there. So I put I did um thanks to uh uh James uh he did some drone footage for me and I've put that out onto YouTube so you can see what the Navarre woods look like inside. So the grass is really high. Um basically there's not as much work needed to be done as we thought. Uh, PD are getting in something a machine to clear all the brambles away from the back. Uh, the orcs are getting a bigger space. It's going all the way back to the road now. So they're essentially almost doubling in size, their area. Um, I don't think any orcs are coming to the uh, site clearance thing, but it doesn't really matter because not as much work is needed. Um, and... Yeah, so there's going to be a market now between the... So at the back of the Orcs, just out of the Orc camp, there's going to be a little market area for the Navarre, Wintermark and the Orcs all in that little bit there. That's what they're planning there. Um, they are going to need to build a bigger wall. Um, but they're going to have a lot more space now. So I don't... They, they won't know what to do with it. Because um, they've been very, very gimp mask party in the woods pretty much that's yeah that's what happens every event to be honest i mean that's what the orcs are let's face it all into uh all into their own things not one to kink shame um but yeah so there's gonna be there's a lot of stuff going on i don't i'm not gonna say what's going on um but there is a lot of stuff happening and e1's gonna be interesting just to see how it all works um, so yeah, so I think a lot of people volunteer to do site clearance. They can't all go, is what I've been told. So Kit is going to basic. I think he's doing it at random. I'm not too sure. Uh, I know I'm going, um, because I'm good at manual labor. <laughs> I can carry things and move stuff. So that's the only reason I'm there. Um, who's going to pay for it? Beth is. Yeah with her filthy vices of smut and uh, gambling. You'll be, you're going to be the Trump orc. Oh, build a wall. That's, well, to be honest, yeah, that has happened once before. There was actually, I don't, uh, Chris might remember that. There was orcs going around, they wanted to build a bigger wall in between the nations. Uh, but not rich yet, yet. So yeah, there's gonna be, there's gonna be a loads of stuff happening there. There's an area down the bottom of the woods which I want to try to move Hurst Hall into, as well. Um, so there's lots of stuff there. Uh, so Hurst Hall had their 
we we had a proper meeting during the week uh, to talk stuff through. Quite interesting to see what everybody is involved with, uh, what everyone wants to do. Uh, the new char- new players got to chat about their new characters and stuff. It was really interesting uh, to see where uh, what direction everyone wants to go in. Um, it's quite fun because I don't. There's a lot of stuff that's going on there, and I need to try to figure out how I'm going to fit into it. I think the only thing that I'm doing is violence and drugs at the moment. So, and I've just noticed that this bit up here. I've just noticed this. So, yeah, I don't know what's caused this. Ooh, yeah, I sit like that. Um, yeah. So I I think E one for me now has become. I I need to find more game. So it's going to be quite stick to your strengths. Well, yeah, I could do. Um, sorry, random question. Is the trailer still happening? Uh, yes, the trailer is still happening. Uh, I wanted to get E1 out of the way, basically. I wanted to see how PD ran everything again. Uh, I wanted to get, I wanted to find my feet again and all of this. We are looking at E3 more than likely for it. I need to speak to PD about it. Um, uh, Matt was very happy for it to happen. It's a lot of hard work. But yeah, so we're looking at E3 because that normally has the best weather. So, and once that's, once I've got E1 out of the way, then I'll start to get people talking and we can start to get everything planned. Because I've still got like the um, the screenplay written out. I've got, I say screenplay, there's no actual script. It's a song and other stuff. So we've got a lot of stuff there to do and a lot of people who want to be involved so yeah it is happening so we're looking at july potentially so uh i still have a few things i need to get like insurance and a few bits of kit that's all good man it's all good there's no pressure on it i'm not i don't it's pd paid a fair bit of money out to get their trailer made and we're not basically this is done by the love of people who want to do it and it means that a lot of people can use it as like part of their portfolio and stuff like that so i'm it's it was just an idea and it's now blossomed into something massive which is is which is incredible um so yeah so liam will be he is liam is my cameraman for this one um, we've got, I'm director, producer, person wrangler. Uh, no, I'm not person wrangler. We have got someone who does person wrangling for, um, oh, I always get the Attenborough, Attenboroughs confused. The one who does the wildlife. Is that Richard Attenborough? Helen's going to kill me. Uh... Do I get? A spe- I don't get a special chair. I have got a clicker board though. I have got a clacker board thing. I have got one of those. David, David Attenborough. Yeah, there we go. If Helen's watching this, I am so dead. I am so dead because she loves that man so much. I bought her his um, him reading out all of his books uh, on CD, the, a big box set thing. Uh, the man, the myth, the national treasure, the forgotten name. Um, as everybody knows, I'm terrible, terrible with names. Unless I've met you like for two seconds and then I'll remember your name forever. But if I've met you more than that, then I will forget your name forever. But yeah, David Attenborough. Um, so yeah, we've got somebody who's worked with that works with has worked with David Attenborough, helping out as well. We've got uh, professional film and tv costume people coming along to help out as well we've it's it's incredible um pud is i've approached pud about writing the song for it and he said he'd he'd, he'd be happy to do that um so my I'll, i'll give you a little brief so has everybody in chat seen um disney's 
original Robin Hood. So with the fox, the bear, and all of that. Yeah, we all we all know what that is. Yeah, everyone's seen that. I'll be shocked if people haven't. Yeah. Wunderbar. That is an inspiration for my idea. My other inspiration is the Evil Dead. <laughs> just just throwing that one out there. Uh, so yeah, Robin Hood, Little Joe, and walking through the fo- exactly, exactly. It is the best Disney film ever. Uh, yeah, and Evil Dead. Sam Raimi. Um, is uh, yeah, bit of an inspiration there as well. So you know. It's uh it is quite a contrast. It is a massive contrast, but it's there. It's it's the idea. And when when you see what I've got in mind, you'll go, Ah, oh, I understand that. So uh Liam, I've talked you through this idea. We had a chat we had a long chat about this idea. <laughs> no one dies. Um yeah, no one dies. Uh, anything like that. Uh, orcs. Um, I don't. I, I can't remember who I've got cast at the moment. I've got. A, I've got it all written out, uh, but I can't remember who I've got cast. I know I've got the Navarre. I've got nations done. Um, I've even. I've even pen written in a um, an after credits scene, as well. So uh, Smith is in it because his armor is insane. Um, very much Theoden. Um, so yeah, his armor is absolutely insane. So he's in it, and we've got some yeah. There's an after credit scene as well, which would just be a laugh. Um, so that that's uh, yeah. So little cameos and stuff from people. Um, but yeah, there's bits going on. So it, there's there's a lot of stuff there. But I'm sure that when it comes to close closer to the time, I will I will talk about it a lot more, and. Um, yeah, it's going to be epic. It's going to be really, really good. Um, after credit scene, which is just Bob on a chair. Yes. If you want 4K or 1080p, we'll go for 4K, mate, obviously. Uh, only instead of riding a horse. Yes. No, it will just be... Do you want to hear my... Do you want to hear what I've got in mind for this? I don't know if it's a thing people would actually be interested in. Um, but I've got... Yeah, I, I, I'll have to fish it. Well, I can't be bothered to fish it out. I can tell you what I've got planned. My idea. Um, I think I've done it once before, but I'm happy to talk about it if people are interested. Um, yes, I forgot. Liam. I'm not disappointed. I'm in the same I'd forgotten as well um so I'm not going to I'm not going to talk about some bits of it because uh I want it to be a surprise parts of it but in essence it's going to touch on badly and bad oh and yeah I know we're, we're all just terrible um <laughs> so in essence it's something that's going to touch on all of the nations because I, I i found that pd's trailer while it's very good was very much um where it's about combat and battle and things like that and that's not what all of empire is so about 30 percent of empire is fighting the rest of it not so much um so you've got you've got healing you've got magic you've you've got politics You've got Eternals, you've got Heralds, you've got all of you've got um, artifacts, you've got all of these things that you need to do and you can get involved with. So I wanted to basically just show off all of the nations. A new point spend, like show us the Bob. It's very rude, but yes. Um, yeah, any suggestions for um those point spends then yeah let me let me know I've, I'm, I've sort of forgotten about them all um so the plan is to show off all of the nations so opening bits happen and then you've got pud 
stood there with uh, guitar in hand, playing, singing, and walking along as he's going through all of the nations of the empire. And each, um, each nation will have two or three people and they'll slowly be getting their um, armour on and stuff like that, gearing up for a fight, basically. So showing off, I'm looking at showing off all the kit that people wear uh, and how much effort goes into those sort of things and how all of the nations are all different as well. So it's all going to be going through and showing off all of this sort of stuff, um, which is which is really good. So I've approached people whose kit is insanely good, um, be it brand new or really experienced. Um, so like for Navarre, we've got um, Justin who you can never miss because he's like nine foot tall, um, and Abby, who you can't miss because she's like three foot tall. Um, but their kit is really good. So it's going to be a nice contrast as well because it's different. It's very different styles uh, and things, so it's going to show all the kit off. And it's going to go through all of the nations, and it will have everybody just showing everything that they have. But it will have things going on in the background, so that shows off... Um, people preaching, people telling stories, the academy and stuff like that as well. So yeah, it will have a lot, lots of stuff going on in it. And then it will end the way, it will, the way I've got it in my mind for it to end is at the Sentinel gate with looking at Pud or what will be Tarek, uh, as he stood there just in his normal, like scop kit playing the guitar and i want the line to finish off something like with something about decisions and then saying what will you what will you do and then the camera turns around and sort of like goes along because everybody who you've seen getting ready for a fight is now stood there in their full armor and the camera just pans along them all so you see them all stood there and then as it goes all the way back around it comes back to uh tarik or back to pud who's now in his full armor and he turns around as the Sentinel Gate then just fills up with a bit of smoke and he goes running through the Sentinel Gate and everyone goes running past the camera through the gate after him. And that's how it'll end. That's that's the dream. That's the plan. Will it happen like that? Probably not. But who cares? It's going to be fun. We're going to put something out there. It's free advertising for PD. And it's going to be good. It's going to be a laugh. And... Yeah, that's all I want at the end of the day. So, now that's some Hollywood level shit. Uh, I won't go that far. I appreciate it though, Baz. Um, I think it's just going to be some... You can see this, it's going to be mad good. I hope so. I hope so. I hope people watch it and think, that's really good. Um, and they see all the seriousness of it all. The light-hearted bits and bobs that are going throughout... And then they get to the end, the credits will go, and people go, oh, that's so cool. And then they get the end credit scene, and they'll be like, what the fuck? <laughs> that's pretty much my plan for it. So, you know. Um, yeah, but I've got a cast list written down somewhere. So what I'll do after E1 is I'm going to put another thing out just to say to people, can you play this? Or I'll go to people in certain nations, obviously, and just say, can you do this, this, and this? Uh a light-hearted behind the scenes in the credits, but that's up to you. Uh, I quite like the idea of outtakes. I'm a big fan of outtakes. So, But, yeah, that's the plan. That's the goal. Who knows? Um, we'll, we'll see what happens, basically. Um, yeah. I hope everyone's feeling a bit like better or a bit more perked up, a bit, a bit more keen or something. Ten minutes of Steve swearing. Yeah, there'll be that too. Um, yeah, I, I'm going to get bleeped out so often it's going to it's gonna be unreal, to be honest. Um, oh, yeah, there was something else. Cause I, I, 
Uh, absurdly, I'm almost feeling uh, less keen the closer it draws. Definitely a thing. Definitely a thing. It does happen. You. It, it's like you're putting pressure on yourself. So the closer you get to the event, so the closer you're going to get to the event, you're going to find that you're thinking more about your prep, your travel, your food, your drink, your sleeping, and all of this stuff. And that's on your mind so much, you are just not sure, um, yeah, what what to do, whether you're coming or going. So it's definitely a thing. I wouldn't worry about it at all, Beth, because you'll suddenly realise that when you get to, in a couple of weeks or something, when you get everything out to just like, right, I need to make sure I've got everything. You'll pack everything. And then you'll just be um, there going, wow, it's it's here. It's going to, yeah, ap apprehension. Thank you, John. So that's pretty much where you'll be. And it'll be, yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll be really looking forward to it. And I'm, I'm planning on doing things with, I want to do a few more new player bits um, to build up the keen, to help people and to encourage. Um, yeah, so yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll be totally fine. Um, so have I missed Dallas discussing outtakes at LARP? <laughs> I wish, uh, no, this is the new empire trailer, uh, that I'm, I'm going to be making. So it's going to be good. Uh, almost like there's so much keen it's leaking out of my ears. Yeah, you'll be fine. The editing for doing bleeps, yep, that's insane. I remember when I had to edit someone's wife walking into the back of the stream and lifting her top up. And then I had to edit that so it was blurred while she was walking along the back. That was, um, she had a bra on, it was fine, but still. Um, that's someone's wife and I didn't want to show that on stream. Oh yeah, and we got Bob. We got Bob. Look at his little feet. He's got toes. They, they've got toes. <laughs> um. So, yeah. So you'll you'll be you'll be totally fine. Uh, I'll see if I can get Pud on, and we can do a music uh, stream as well as get him to chat about him, his music, and get him to string along. He looks less grumpy in reality. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're awesome. Um, so, uh, do you think a 120 litre expedition rush will be enough for kit and other essentials? No. Basically, <laughs> you'll pack, you'll, you'll fill it, and then you'll think, oh, I need more, I've got more, and stuff like that. So, Daddy Steve... Yeah, Bob can sit there. Um, so, yeah, there, there's going to be stuff like that. I mean, to be honest, Liam, if you chuck stuff into... There's travel arrangements on Facebook and in the Discord. So you can just... There, I'm sure there will be people... Um, I have to get a train like an hour away, then I've managed to get a lift. Oh, that's all right then. So you, you'll, you'll be fine. Um... Yeah, so something else that I was going to bring up, this will be the last thing I'll be I'll bring up, you'll be grateful to know. Um, my first dozen Maelstrom laps uh, were done with a tent, sleeping bag, and a 100 litre backpack. Yeah, Ma Maelstrom has... Yeah, Maelstrom, I've got some interesting memories of Maelstrom. Some, one good one, the rest of it was bad. I didn't get on with the Maelstrom system at all. Uh, it made me quit LARP. <laughs> Basically, I hated it. Um, but yeah, it just wasn't for me. But Empire, wow, look what it's done to me. Um, so, uh, yeah, the last thing that I'll do, um, merch. I wanted to do, because obviously this, oh, this uh, is the old logo, and I wanted to do something to get the new bits and bobs out there. Um, I lo I'd love to see. I'd love to do something and give everybody a t-shirt, something like that, and, and go from there. Um, 
but yeah, we just have to, I just have to wait and see. So I'm going back to a friend of mine, Ryan, who does this sort of thing for a living. Um, I'm going to speak to him about doing something. I want to do a t-shirt, so it'll just be it'll be hefty yeti on the front, and I want to get people. I want to get a name and a number put on the back, like a football shirt, because I think that could be quite fun. So, so it'll be like hefty yeti on the front, and then. Um, I've become the most you swore to destroy. <sighs> oh, please. I, I gave up. Oh, I dread to think how much money I'm down doing all of this, but I don't care. We have so much fun doing it, and that's all that matters. Dibs on 3.14. See, that's the sort of thing that I want. I want people to have their own, like, to come up with their own nickname, or maybe even a Discord name or something, or just anything like that. And have an have the number on it as well oh nexus thank you so much so can we all have bob on the back no you can have ic names if you if you want i want 24 calling it now cat nine see i'd i'd have mine would be yeah so hefty eight like this and then on the back it'd be hefty um and one probably because i play in goal <laughs> So, yeah, it's all those sorts of things. So, it's an idea. And then when I come back, I can just oh, see how much it costs and stuff like that. It might not be worth doing. So, yeah, so there's lots of stuff like that. But I'll put this all out anyway. And we can go from there. But it's it's just an idea. And I think it'll be something quite fun. 42. Is that your IQ, Chris? No. 17 to IQ. Sorry. I apologize. Um, but yeah, so that's it. That's it. That's, that's the stream. Uh, we've chatted for a while. Um, <laughs> sorry, not sorry, Chris. <laughs> 12. Oh, Jesus. I was wrong again. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the stream. Um, it's been nice just to chat stuff. Uh, like I say, it's been a long, hard week for a lot of people. I needed to pick me up and we've, um, yeah, and we, we've done it and we're doing, yeah, it's, you, when I, when I am off stream and that I forget how much we're actually doing, but then I come on to the stream and we all chat and I love the fact that I, it's all like just chatting constantly with everyone. Um, yeah, you can all, and then everybody just, it's just really good. Um, so yeah, thank you, Moobot. Moobot is good. But yeah, so we're all, yeah, it's all, we're all going, it's all going really, really well. And we, we're, we're working on so much. Um, oh yeah, the, um, at E1, if anyone's coming to E1, who wants to give me and Matt a hand filming? Um, let me let me. Well, yeah, uh, yeah. Just yeah. Let me know closer to the event. Don't do it now. Um, yeah, let me know closer to the event. So get like the week a week or two beforehand, and then because I need a I need someone to film me and my victim. And some we need someone to film Matt and Matt's victim, or we just go Liam and Beth. We'll do it. There we go. That's fine. Don't worry. That those two are they're sorted. Um. So yeah. So we'll be. You'll be. Yeah. That's that done then. Um. T-shirts. I'll wait till I heard back from Ryan, and then we can. Yeah, I can see what he says, uh, and go from there. Smithy's come back, so thanks everyone for watching. <laughs> um, I don't know if any who's is anyone uh, streaming. Ah, Ian. So haven't seen Ian for a while. Um, so Ian is streaming at the moment. Ian's a um, nice, nice guy. He does a lot of tabletop roleplay stuff. Um, and everything and yeah could do with a bit of love 
Thank you, everyone, for the bits. Oh, there she is. Oh, Betty. Oh, Betty, what you do to me. Is that weird now? Probably a bit weird. Just forget I said that. Um, <laughs> it will be up on, on YouTube. I'm trying to get the YouTube to grow. Oh, how could I forget that? Fuck my life. So, um, the thing I'm doing with Matt, I'm doing again, but in... Um, but with someone on YouTube, another content creator from YouTube, we're going to do a similar thing. Uh, so, uh, Jess from our adventuring party, uh, me and her are going to do a similar thing, uh, that I'm doing with Matt, but we're going to do it via YouTube just to see if, how that works, to see if we can get that sorted, uh, and... Uh, just to see if it's worth doing in that way or if it's just worth doing in a field, basically. Um, could you raid the Ukraine charity stream? I've, do I've donated minis to. Uh, yeah, what's the name of it? V what is, is... What the fuck am I doing? Yeah, what's the... What is the name of it? And then... Uh, Ed the... Oh, yeah, I saw you post that one up, actually. Uh... Ed the Penguin. Do, 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 do. Follow. Thanks for following. That's all right. Uh, sorry, Ian, but we'll raid you next time, bud. Uh, raid strip. Oh, no, wrong one. Uh, raid channel. Just chatting. Start raid. Go. Go forth. Spread love. Say hi. Do the thing. Uh, all good for Ukraine. Final note on that. Putin can go fuck himself. Thank you for watching. That Welcome to my TED Talk. Um, <laughs> I'll see you all soon. Take care. Much love. Uh, yeah. Bye bye.